My name is Sam and I did my biology role model project on Emmanuel Chavantia. Emmanuel was born on December 11, 1968 in France. She knew at a young age that she wanted to get into science, but she didn't know what field or profession she wanted. But there were many different aspects in her childhood and education that made her interested in science. She remembered when she was around 11 to 12, she had a teacher that helped raise her interest in biology. And after school, she came home and told her mom that she was going to go to school at um, the Institute past year. Ironically, she did end up going there for grad school. But before that, during undergrad, she was actually deciding to study either biology or mathematics and she chose biology because it was research based which she liked and there was also a lot of teamwork involved. So for undergrad she studied biology, microbiology, biochemistry, and genetics at the University of Pierre and Marie Curie. And for grad school she went to the Institut Pasteur in Paris. And for doctorate she was also at Institut Pasteur and then she also went to Rockefeller University in New York. There were many obstacles that she faced, but one of the biggest ones was that because she's an international biologist, she struggles with a new culture and environment when she goes to different countries. She travels a lot between America and Europe, and it really triggered barriers for her because it was a very new culture. Europe and America are very two different countries, but she was able to overcome this because of adaptation. She traveled so frequently that she got used to the new culture and environment and also the language, and it became easy for her. Emmanuel is a very private person. It was actually hard to find information on what she does outside of science, but in an interview that she did with the Nobel Prize, she said that she exercises and reads a lot outside of science, but she hopes to do more in the future because she feels kind of sad that she doesn't do much because she's busy but she hopes that she can do more in the future. And she said that she used to do play the piano and do ballet as a kid. What, am I, what I admire most about Emmanuel is how she's very strong-willed and accepts mistakes. She's very open with failure and accepts that it's part of the process, which is what makes me connect with her. As someone who's very down on themselves all the time, she really inspired me to be more open and accepting my mistakes. I identify with her because she's a woman in STEM, and I didn't really know a lot of women that are involved in STEM before doing this project, so when I found out about her, I felt very connected. She's involved in a lot of different fields of biology. She's involved in microbiology, biochemistry, and genetics. Uh, what she specifically focuses on is DNA and gene editing. The most recent research paper that she did was last month. It was published on September 28th, 2023. It was on how the endocytic receptor protein LRP1 can modulate glyco P glycoprotein mediated drug resistance in MCF7 cells. Um, some background information on the research paper. So multi-drug resistance, MDR, is a major obstacle to successful cancer chemotherapy. A typical form of MDR is due to the overexpression of membrane transfer proteins like glycoprotein P, resulting in an increased drug efflux, preventing drug cytotoxicity. Emmanuel investigated the involvement of LRP1 in glycoprotein expression and subcellular redistribution from cell surface to the lysosomal membrane by endocytosis and its potential implication in glycoprotein P-mediated multi-drug resistance in MCF7 cells. The results show that the MCF7 resistant cells overexpress the glycoprotein P, LRP1, and LAMP1. Uh, the, res the image on the right shows the results. Uh, it shows the overexpression of glycoprotein P and LRP1 in MCF7R. What Emmanuel has uncovered so far is that she co-discovered CRISPR, which is a gene editing method now widely used to edit DNA sequences. In 2012, Emmanuel and her partner Jennifer Dona developed a method for high precision, precision genome editing. Um, they use an immune system of bacterium, which disables viruses by cutting their DNA up with a type of genetic scissors. By extracting and simplifying the genetic scissors, molecular components, they made it generally, generally applicable. Um, the CRISPR has triggered a revolution in which laboratories around the world are now using in biology, and she actually got a Nobel Prize for this. Um, it was in chemistry 2020, and it was the first Nobel Prize given to women, which was amazing. Now she established her own research unit at the esteemed Max Planck Society in Berlin.